What's going on y'all? Welcome to the first episode of the in-depth beat making tutorials. Today is going to be all about drums, where to get your drums, which type of drums do I need, and how to lay them out, and also why they're so important. I'll be using Reason 5, but you can use any other software, producing software you want to use. Um, I'll be dropping a new episode on a weekly basis, so subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest videos. Now let's get started. So I'm going to be using the City Sounds drum kit that you can find on my website. Um, but before we get to actually laying down drums, uh, I'm going to explain to you guys which type of drums you need and where you can get them. Uh, drums are like the foundation of a house and in order to build a nice house you need to have a solid foundation. The same goes for music. Uh, there are different ways to get your drums. Uh, you can chop them up from records and break beats or, or you can search the internet to find drum kits. Uh, it's not easy to get quality, good quality drum kits, so you really have to search in order to get good drums. I suggest you start looking for breakbeats online and chop them up yourself. Um, if you can look up one of my older videos called How to Sample Drums, uh, you'll see how this is done and you'll be able to create your own arsenal of drum sounds. If this is too much work for you, you can just uh, go online and search for complete drum kits by producers. For example, um, me, myself, I offer some drum kits on my website, djmelomane.com, uh, yeah, which you can use for your production. Uh, these drum kits are meant for hip hop, soulful hip hop, R&B, and neo soul music. All right, now let's get to laying down some drums. All right, so I've opened up Reason 5 um, because I like this uh, software. It's very simple, but you can use any other producing software you like to use. Um, I'm just going to load in some drums to the redrum. Uh, this is just a, a tool to program your drums. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, all right. I got a lot of different drum kits. I'm just going to use uh, this one right here. Alright, let's use this kick. Let's find the snares and go with this one. Uh, the trick is you have to find sounds that fit well together so you can't just grab some random kick and put it with some snare. You have to like find sounds that fit well together. So let's uh, grab a high hat. sounds nice all right so let's lay something down real quick um, I'm using 90 beats per minute for my BPM if you're making hip-hop music you your BPM should be around 90 um, first I'm gonna lay down the snare and we're gonna quantize this I'm gonna lay down the hi hats. There are different ways to lay down your drums. You can make them, you can quantize everything, but that makes it sound a little bit robotic. So, uh, usually, what I do, I just record my hi hats manually. But there's another way you can add some swing to your to your hi hats, and I'm just gonna show you that real quick. If I quantize them. As you can hear, 
sounds very robotic, but what you could do is you can move them slightly to the right. It already adds a little bit of swing to it. But the best way to add swing to your drum tracks is to just manually record the hi-hats. And I'm just going to show you. As you can hear, there's a little bit of swing in it, and it makes it sound more natural. Also, I've uh, added different velocity to the hi-hats. This also gives it a more natural feel. And I'm just going to bring the velocity down a little bit. And now we're going to lay down some drums. Um, I'm going to quantize these kicks, but only once, so I'm going to edit this later. Now the next step is to add some ghost kicks to this. Uh, and I'm not going to quantize the ghost kicks of course. You should bring the velocity of the ghost kicks down. So now we got a basic drum pattern, and we can add some more sounds to this. What I like to do is I like to add some tambourine to the snare. So let's add this. quantize these and then move them slightly to the right put the velocity down a little bit all right and yeah you can just basically add some more sounds to fill up the drums at this one. No, no, let's try another one. Let's add this one. So now you've got like a basic drum pattern that you could use uh, using random drums that sound nice together but now I'm just gonna lay something else down using my own drums and I'm gonna do basically just gonna do the same uh, start by quantizing the snare some hi hats
some kicks. basic drum pattern and yeah that's that's how I laid out my drums and to spice it up a little bit you can add more drum sounds and after that you can just add anything onto it and it will sound good so if I for example let's see let's add some loads to it. Just to give you an idea of what you can do if you have a solid foundation of drums, uh, some bass maybe. very simple beat but it sounds pretty well because the drums are good so um, yeah that's basically how I do it uh, next week I'll be showing you how to find samples how to chop them up and how to add them to your drums um, so make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, check out my website djmelamay.com and I'll see y'all in the next video peace